Can the shape of your skull determine your personality? Phrenology was a 19th century pseudoscience which believed that the shape of your skull could determine your character traits. The doctors at the time had not yet fully understood the brain, which was a very complex and mysterious organ. Phrenologists believed that the brain was not one singular organ, but actually 27 individual ones, each responsible for a certain emotion, character trait, or behavior. That is a lot of organs. Here at the Bell Museum, we have this genuine human skull from 1887, which was from a time period when phrenology was actually on the decline. We can see here that the skull is actually divided into multiple regions, each one marked with a certain emotion or behavior. In the sections, we can see words like hope, wit, and empathy. Because your skull is not perfectly smooth, but is slightly bumpy, they theorized that each of the bumps corresponded to an overdeveloped organ beneath it. They also believed that as the skull ossified or hardened over the brain, it permanently locked in the person's character. Phrenology was initially invented to try and understand the human psyche by linking mental abilities to parts of the brain. However, it was later used to promote harmful and racist ideologies by claiming that some skull shapes were superior to others. A famous example of this is the Morton Collection. Samuel Morton was a 19th century physician that tried to provide scientific basis for racial hierarchy by measuring and categorizing skulls to try and argue differences in intelligence between races. His studies and phrenology has been extensively researched and debunked. Phrenology was debunked in the 1840s, however, the notations on the skull had been used into the 20th century. The case that actually helped debunk phrenology was the incident with Phineas Gage. Gage was a railroad worker who suffered a traumatic brain injury after having an iron rod blasted through his skull. The incident resulted in major personality changes, forcing doctors to rethink the relationship between the areas of the brain and behavior patterns. Fun fact, Phineas Gage's skull is actually in the Harvard collection. The incident resulted in dramatic personality changes, prompting the physicians to rethink the relationship between specific areas of the brain and behavior, paving the way for modern neuroscience. So note, the shape of your skull does not dictate your personality. Here at the Bone Museum, we want to make the study of medical history more accessible to everybody. So if you want to come see the skull for yourself, make sure to visit us at the Bone Museum in Brooklyn, New York.